hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will design this post okay so let's start so on the profile.php file if we just scroll up over here so first we will design that on post div on underscore post okay I mean this div I will show you that this on underscore post div so over here we will type border border will be 5px solid hash e6 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 and that's it and then padding will be 40 px and then 50 px and then we will design the post underscore image img so height will be let's just say 30 px I mean 300 px and width will be 100 percent and uh, save it and if we refresh our page we have some problem over here and then these two buttons so let's just fix this so guys so okay I just want testing so if you want to change this this area so for that we need to change this to 8 so now if we save this and then refresh this page then our bug or error you can see or a designing problem will be just fixed okay so now we need to fix this buttons so let's fix this buttons and we need to change or make this this text to display a little big a little big okay so for that over here we'll just type h3 and then close that h3 tag and now if we refresh our page then our post will be then a little bit bigger in size okay all the design is perfect but we need to change these buttons and if we uh, just make this google window a little bit small or in the tablet size then our post will be automatically just fit on that size but we need to still change these buttons so let's do that so if we just scroll up up and up and 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 here so before we fix this button okay i mean this buttons this v and delete button we need to show the edit button over here only for the textual post not for the image post okay so for that we need to remove this button the two button from this else condition and also remove that space from there and remove this 12 and change it to 6 and over here we need to create a div and its class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 2 okay and then after this div we will open up another div and then class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 4 and remove this extra closing div because we remove that call hyphen sm hyphen 12 and 
now after this we will type global and then we will global up the connection variable and uh, we will type if I set then dollar underscore get and then the u underscore id then u underscore id will be equals to dollar underscore get and then u underscore id okay now we will get the user id and using that id we will fetch the data from the database then we will type select user underscore email from the user staple where uh, where user underscore id will be equals to the dollar u underscore id variable and then we will type run underscore user my sqri underscore query then pass the total connection variable and then the get underscore posts variable dollar row will be equals to my sqli underscore fetch array and then pass the dollar run underscore users variable and then dollar user underscore email will be equals to dollar draw and then the user underscore email variable not variable the row in the database and then create a variable user it will be equals to dollar underscore session and then the user underscore email and after that we'll create a variable get underscore user it will be equals to select all from users where user underscore email will be equals to the dollar user variable and uh, run underscore user will be equals to my sqli underscore judy and then we will pass the connection variable then the get underscore user and uh, dollar row will be equals to my sqli underscore fetch underscore array change this to underscore that's it and then pass the run underscore user variable so now we will take the user id from the table so for that we'll type user underscore id then the row and then the user underscore id and then we will get the user email so for that we'll type dollar u underscore email then the row and uh, user underscore email so now we will add an if condition so if dollar u underscore email is not equals to the dollar user uh, underscore email this means that if the user is uh, not that user which logged in then we will send them back to the profile.php so we will, I just type that echo script and then window.open profile.php guide.php file guys I just told you that 
uh, this means if the user just change the URL to another user then he will be redirected to his own profile he will not be able to change uh, URL on the profile.php file so for that we will type profile then u underscore id will be equals to dollar user underscore id variable okay so he will be redirected to the or his own profile page or else if he is already on his page then we will show the view delete and the edit button and the post we are already displaying the post over there so we don't need to write that all all of that code so to make things simple we need to just copy the these two buttons from the else if condition and then we will just paste it down below and we need to change this single code to double not double code we need to first add an echo because it's a php code not a not it's a html code not a php code so the view and delete button is over here and now we need to just add the edit button so just copy that view button and paste it in between the two buttons and change this to edit and uh, this will be changed to info and its URL will be I think the edit underscore post dot php and then post underscore id will be equals to that post id with the user click on and that's it so now it will show this three button down below the only the textual post I mean down this post so let's just only click on the profile so here is the button but our code is just not working well so let's just check this so we need to close this uh, div id equals to own because we don't close it over here remove that pr text from there and after this add tag over here we need to close that div and then add some br tags and then we are good to go so i just already refreshed the page so here is our three buttons and our design is just automatically just fix so now we need to fix these buttons guys remove this br tag from all of the buttons from here and then over here and uh, if we just scroll up not over here over here we need to remove that br tags and then from over here remove that br tags and now if we just save this and refresh our page then our button will be fixed now look at that our button is now looking perfect and nice so guys this is it for this video and in the next video we will make this button work this delete button so this is it for this video and uh, subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon